Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click that little red button below. And if you'd like to be notified of my posts, click the bell. It'll send you a notification as soon as I post. Okay, so we have a crazy updates for BC's wildfires going on. Um, the minister, uh, Doug Donaldson of the forests, forest minister, said that... Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click that little red button below. And if you'd like to be notified of my posts first, click the bell. It'll send you a notification as soon as I post. Okay, so the forest minister, Doug Donaldson, um, in BC has... Um, declared a state of emergency. Now what this means in Canada is that any authorities um, in that area after a state of emergency has been declared can take any action necessary in order to fight the fire. Um, currently there were there are 559 fires going on in BC. 31 of new ones just started on Tuesday. So over 1,800 blazes in total um, since April 1st have began. In Northwest BC, there's actually 333 kilometers that have been destroyed, 40 homes and properties around the Telegraph Creek, and it's just getting crazier. Um, 1,500 properties were evacuated midday on Wednesday, and about 10,000 more people are on alert for if they need to leave on very short notice. Um, this state of emergency is in effect for about 14 days, two weeks. Um, in the past, they have declared state of emergencies that have gone as long as 10 weeks. However, um, we're hoping that maybe this state of emergency will help the authorities fight this fire in any way possible to put it out. They do fear this is going to get worse. So the province is currently waiting for about 200 armed forces to come and help them out. Now the smoke that's been created in BC from these fires is literally affecting everyone here in Canada, myself included. My province has literally been foggy and and smoky for uh, weeks, you know. It's just been, it's been pretty crazy because you really just can't, can't get that sun. You can't get that relief of, oh, it's a nice beautiful day out. Uh, let's go do something. It's just a constant downer because it's so smoky and, and dark all the time. There are currently 3,372 3, firefighters and contractors that are currently actively fighting these blazes. Um, some 436 uh, from other provinces and parts of the world, including Alberta, New Brunswick, um, Northwest Territories, Quebec, uh, Saskatchewan, parts of Canada, Australia, Mexico, and New Zealand. So special thanks to everybody who's reached out to help us. We very much appreciate that. Um, before last, uh, before like this de um, state of emergency declared, the last one before last year was in 2003, um, and then before that wasn't um, until 1996. And I mean, it's estimated right now that this fire is costing about 214 million dollars. Um, you know, last year at the same time, the agency had only spent about 332 million. So if we're already at that number right now, I can't imagine what we're going to be at when this is all over. What we all really need is a bunch of rain. So let's hope that mother nature is kind of going to play in our favor and help us out here because I don't know if the authorities are going to be able to get this under control themselves. I feel like mother nature is going to have to step in and do something here. Um, so if you enjoyed this update, folks, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate the support. If you have any other comments to add, please put them below because I love hearing from you folks. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye for now.